experience in like the dating world, I have had like a lot of, not a lot, but I've had in my life just long-term relationships, which I can touch upon in the podcast as well. Hey you guys, welcome back to Vlogmas day 15. <laughs> Why am I like forgetting the days? Welcome back to another vlog, you guys. I am actually looking for my phone. I don't even know where my phone is right now. I'm in a rush kind of to leave because we had two podcast recordings this morning. We just got done with the second episode. Graydon was on it and it's so funny. We did like a Q&A style video and we all like answered some questions and he read off the questions and he answered them as well. And it was so much fun, but I have to get ready because I'm heading down to the Cape. I have to be there at five o'clock to go be with my family. Just throw on some clothes, a gray little top from a turn and just some baggy jeans. I'm gonna wear sneakers, a coat and a hat probably. I wanna do like a little bit of makeup just because I have breakouts that I wanna cover. But we were busy recording that I am now like trying to get all ready because we have to go to the Cape and there's so much traffic. Like it's gonna take, oh, here's my phone. It's gonna take like an hour in 45 minutes which is crazy but that's just the way that it is when you go to the cape and you're leaving at a time that a lot of people are like getting out of work i don't want to put like too much makeup on because i did makeup last night but i just want to be able to do like enough to cover i still don't have like a good concealer to cover my acne i really want to just do like a concealer to cover it and then powder and then do like a little bit of blush if you have a good concealer that covers acne like a good recommendation please let me know because i currently don't have anything even that matches my skin and a lot of this like is just redness so anyway if you have a recommendation please let me know but i'm gonna get ready quick and i'll talk to you guys in a little bit. We just got to the Cape. We're pulling into the cemetery. Obviously, I'm not gonna like vlog at the cemetery. I just feel like that's a little wrong. But all of our cousins are here and my brother and my grandmother like literally everybody and it took us so long to get here like emma and i left the cape at i mean left boston at what time do we leave i don't know but don't hit that stick actually go back a little bit so you don't hit the stick okay we left boston at 3 20 and it's now 5 41 okay. and we just got here today just because i didn't get enough footage yesterday my camera also like has nowhere to sit up in my car um but anyway i didn't have enough footage from yesterday i had the podcast recordings and then we went to my grandmother's house and i just like didn't do enough in the day to film since a lot of the time i was like on the call for the podcast and stuff and but anyway just got coffee i've been getting hot coffee with cream from olga's and i get like a flavor in it i don't know what flavor matt gets me but whatever it is it's really good and we're at ups right now because that big box that i had in the back of my car that i'm shipping to the real real we were like we got to drop it off today and get it out of the car so we just did that and he brought it in and on the label that i printed out it says eight pounds that's like what is 
required for like the amount of pounds you can ship when you ship out a package with like a prepaid label from the real real and my box i was looking at him i'm like do you think that this is more than eight pounds and he's looking at me like are you serious because milo is 12 pounds and the box is like obviously way heavier than him and <laughs> i don't know it's easily like a 40 pound box of stuff so hopefully they'll let me keep all of it in the box that i have it in and then i can just like pay a little bit more and ship it out but I had so much stuff I needed to get rid of and I needed to get it out of my car. So that's what we just did. But I took a pair of boots out of it because I was like, I want to keep them. Because I just got this jacket that matches them. So I might wear them like a few more times and then, I don't know. I was like, I don't love the color, but I'm gonna wear them. Ew. But I'm going to wear them a few more times before I sell them because I have a really cute jacket that is going to match them. Also, this car is so cold. I need to turn this back on. But anyway, that's what's up, you guys. It's like really disgusting and rainy today. I don't even know what to do with myself when the weather is like this because it's supposed to rain all day long and it is... 43 degrees I kind of wish it was a little bit colder so the rain would be snow but it's gonna rain all day tomorrow and all day today and it's gonna snow 30% chance on Friday and is Friday Christmas no it's not Christmas isn't until Sunday been like relaxing and chilling since I took a bath and I'm gonna clean the bed sheets right now I have all the clean ones right there I need to take off all of these sheets and I'm gonna replace the comforter because the one that I have right now is less fluffy than this one so I'm gonna swap them but if you have dogs I feel like you'd understand the struggle of the dogs like jumping up and laying in on the bed and in the bed and there's literally just like sand all over the bed and it's like stressing me out and it's not even sunday i cleaned the sheets last sunday but i'm like you know what i need to do it tonight because there's like sand everywhere and i had clean sheets so i was like you know what i'm just gonna swap them out because it's friday anyway and um, yeah so we're gonna do that also i just cannot believe how rainy it is like it's actually crazy i'm just like so surprised that it's been raining so hard all day long i went out to bring the dogs out for a little walk and i got like drenched all my clothes got wet that i put on so i had to change but yeah it's just like crazy and i don't know what to do for dinner because i don't want to go to the store because like i said it's pouring rain but also Uber Eats is like so backed up because probably everybody's in the house ordering. So it's just like frustrating. I just ate like literally almost a whole bag of chips because I was like, I'm so hungry, but I haven't been to the store and I just needed to eat something. <laughs> I was outside of the bedroom waiting for me because you can't go in there when I'm making the bed because then I feel like you just want to lay on the bed, but mommy has to make it, you know? But you're a good boy and did you get a bath today but it doesn't even matter because you got wet again when you went outside in the rain my baby jojos i love you i've showed actually before how to do this in a vlog but for the sake of vlogmas we're gonna do it again i'm gonna make like put my comforter into my duvet and show you guys the trick that I do. So you're gonna take your comforter and then, actually first you're gonna lay your duvet cover down inside out on your bed so all of the ties are sticking out like this. 
And then you're going to lay your comforter down over the top. And make sure that everything is all lined up. And then you're going to tie each corner of the comforter and just like secure it with the little ties that are on the inside of your duvet cover. Okay, then once you are done doing that, you're gonna take the duvet and the comforter and just start like rolling it together like you're rolling a little burrito and make sure that it's all even. I like to just go over obviously on both sides and make sure that it's all tucked nicely so when I roll it out the comforter doesn't like get all bunched up and then you're gonna reach underneath and there's gonna be the piece of the duvet that you're gonna be able to button you know when you close it <laughs> and so you're gonna kind of stuff the duvet like stuff it back in itself while taking this piece and just like bringing it over if that makes any sense at all I feel like I'm really bad at explaining this but basically it's gonna like roll over like this and then you can literally just take the duvet cover and you're gonna roll the comforter out and when you roll it out it's going to have your comforter just all nice and like even in the duvet cover and it's like the easiest way to make the bed. I swear, I've been doing this for years. And then I kind of just go through before I button all the buttons and I just like fluff it and make sure that it's all even. Okay, and now that I've buttoned the bottom part of the comforter, I just like to tuck mine into my bed. I need to vacuum <laughs> the edges of my bed because there's literally sand and dog hair all over it right now. So I need to go right downstairs and get the vacuum, but I just tuck like this. And then I always throw, actually, you know what? I'm gonna clean this. Okay, the bed is done. I like to add this blanket at the end. I have these like all over my house and they're just from Pottery Barn. I've had them for years and they are such good quality even if you wash them, I do recommend just hanging them to dry. Like don't put them in the dryer because they will definitely get ruined. But I get so many questions about like my bed, the bench, the rug. This is Max's bed and it's really cute. It goes with the aesthetic. This is a Barney bed. I will link everything for you guys. This bench is from Wayfair. It's actually sold out right now, but I will double check to see if it's back in stock and I'll also link one similar rug is from west elm my bed is the restoration hardware cloud bed in white linen like i said pottery barn and then my sheets i have like four different sets of sheets that i just rotate every single time that i wash my bed and these ones are the white linen from parachute right now and then i just have like a cotton parachute duvet on right now and my side tables are from Wayfair. They're just like these little black, I mean, <laughs> little brown tables. They're the only tables that could fit because we have like a really small area next to the bed. So yeah, and then I have this big pillow right here which I throw on when the bed is made and this is from Parachute as well and it just has a linen, like a tan linen cover on it. All right, you guys, I just got ready. I'm going out to dinner, but I wanted to show you guys a quick little outfit of the night before I leave because my outfit, well, it's very basic because it's raining, but I'm just wearing these jeans. They're from Natasha Zinko. I have actually had these for a really long time and I love them. They're like baggy and like pleated and I'm wearing a black belt, gold buckle, and then my long sleeve is from Cotton Citizen. And I just tucked it in to the jeans. My trench coat is Lamarck. It's like a leather, long leather trench coat. And then I did sneakers with it. I wanted to wear like a pointed toe black heel or boot, but it's just not the right weather. <laughs> and then I'm using this bag. Also the shoes that I'm wearing, I love. They're the Daniel Guzio Reeboks. And then I just did gold jewelry and then hair in a bun because 
I didn't want to leave my hair done since it's raining because if it gets wet then it's gonna look like all weird you know what I mean hi guys I just got home from dinner and <laughs> I'm gonna end off this vlog I literally I'm not flipping you guys off but I just like cut my finger and I don't know how but anyway I am gonna go Take a shower, take off my makeup, go to bed. But I wanted to end off this vlog and I hope that I have enough footage for a good enough vlog because I've been, <laughs> some of these days, I'm not gonna lie, during Vlogmas, I've been like a little bit self-conscious about my vlog because I'm like, is it exciting? Is it even like a good vlog? Because I'm not gonna lie, I don't do exciting things like every single day and part of me has felt like i like need to go out and do something exciting for my vlog to be good which i know that you guys are not like like that at all and you guys like just seeing home content and you're very very sweet about me just like living my normal life and like vlogging it like i know i've talked about it before but you guys are just like so sweet about and being supportive about just like me showing my daily life so i hope that this vlog was good enough <laughs> because i'm like was it good enough did i need to show more but really it's just been so like yucky out today that i had really nothing to show because i didn't leave my house and i had a call and then i mean obviously you guys saw everything today but i don't know i'm gonna end off this vlog here though i just got these tongue scrapers in the mail from Amazon if you don't have a tongue scraper like this sounds weird but you need one in your life like they're literally five dollars on Amazon and when you brush brush your teeth in the morning and the night you like take this and you go and scrape your tongue and it gives you like really fresh breath all the time and it just like gets all the bacteria out of your mouth like trust me if you're taking your toothbrush and scrubbing like this <laughs> stop doing that and order a tongue scraper because like that doesn't work and you need to get a copper one. The copper ones are better than the metal ones. And I swear, the plastic ones... I, I just feel like the copper ones are the best. I'll link it for you guys. I bought a pack of two on Amazon. And I'm like excited to use it tonight. But anyway, I'm gonna take a shower. Like I said, end off this vlog. My hair is like so long in my bun that it's like heavy. Because <laughs> when I used to wear my hair in slick back buns... My hair was like a lot shorter than it is right now, but my hair's so long and just like, it's crazy. So my hair just feels super heavy right now and it's been like hurting me because <laughs> it's been like pulling all of my hair being like snatched back has been like pulling. Um, but I'm excited to wash it and take a shower and take my makeup off and get ready for bed but i'm gonna end off this video and i love you guys so much thank you for watching and i will see you tomorrow for vlogmas day 17 love you guys